Some breaking news developments right now in the search for a missing newborn. Yeah, the mystery continues in the search for Andrew Caballero, last seen with his father, a suspected killer. Now in the last hour, deputies say they now believe the infant could still be in the Miami area. Justin Warman joins us now with the very latest. latest. Justin. Yeah, that's right, Candace. It's been a whirlwind of information here, and deputies still sh aren't sure what exactly happened to baby Andrew, but right now they say they believe Ernesto Caballero may have left the baby in Miami-Dade County before traveling up Alligator Alley and fatally shooting himself in Pasco County. Now, last night, deputies found Ernesto's body, but baby Andrew was nowhere in sight and neither was his car seat. They initially believed a mystery blonde woman could have been involved in this, but they now say, if anything, she just stopped to check on the vehicle after the incident and they no longer believe that she was involved. We had the bloodhounds out there searching. The bloodhounds hit nothing. There was no indication that the child was in the area. He's related to the one or all three of the victims inside the house. Now that last sound bite refers to Andrew's mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother all found shot to death when baby Andrew was first discovered missing. Deputies say Ernesto is the suspect in those deaths before he left the Miami area. Now this map was released by deputies. They say this is the most likely route Ernesto took before he was found dead near I-75. He was traveling in a white Ford passenger van with the Florida tag KUSK23. They're asking anyone who may have seen him to report any information they have to their local law enforcement. Again, deputies say right now there is no evidence baby Andrew was ever in Pasco County and could still be in the Miami area. If anyone has any information, again, we're talking about a week old baby here, please report it to law enforcement for his safety. We will continue to follow this breaking story. We'll bring you updates on clickorlando.com and right here on News 6. Candace. All right, Justin, thank you.